The story behind Patriots need to stand up in lowercase and uppercase letter series that I made. Well, it's to expose the hypocrisy. I mean, I never talked about Civil War. The people who were talking about Civil War back in 2019, those people talked about Civil War. So don't try to hold me accountable because of other people's bullshit, what they say. Just being honest. I mean, you want to hold people accountable, hold the Boogaloo boys accountable. <laughs> well, the story goes that, you know, I went to a lot of Pro 2A rallies. Thinking I was doing something, uh, something revolutionary. Later found out that uh, the, politi the politicians, they don't care. They don't listen to you. And I've been saying all along, power does what it wants. But people don't seem to get that. They don't, they don't seem to get it. It was all fine and dandy. They don't want to listen to me. Hey, it's like I told you. Sooner or later, you're going to come to me and say, you know what, Red, you were right. And I'll be, the be there to tell you, I told you so. Mm -hmm. So, after I found out that the politicians don't, don't care what we say, that power does what it wants, I used to be one of those, you know, people who believes in the Supreme Court and then started looking online and I started talking to other to uh, people who are actually like minded like, like me found out that all this bullshit that's what it is it's bullshit we're being played the Heller versus District of Columbia case in 2008 Man, see a lot of people say that it did more good for gun rights. No, it actually did more harm than good. Now all the while, these people rely on gun rights organizations like the GOA and the the FUD infested gun rights organization like the NRA. They rely on those gun rights organi organizations to fight for their gun rights in the courtrooms. Let me tell you something. The Patriots of 1776 would actually fight. You're pissed off on what I, what I say? You're pissed off because I underestimated you? Well, continue to get pissed off. <laughs> I don't care if I piss you off. I just speak the truth. While you speak your version of the truth, or you tell half half lies. I tell it like it is. Look, I'll say whatever I want to whomever I damn well please. Alright? All I'm saying is, if you call yourself a patriot, a rebel, an outlaw, you better back it up when the time comes. You see, I don't call myself a patriot. I don't. How can I? How can I? Because I bought those guns that I have legally. I asked the government permission to be armed the moment I signed those 4473 forms. Others say, well, you don't have to do that. Well, huh? it is what it is. Question is, are you going to stand up? Like, literally, stand up. What happens if another Ruby Ridge or Waco happens? Are you going to stand up then? And are you willing to go, to this, go the distance? That's the real question. Are you willing to go the distance? 
Now, a lot of you, you go out there and protest and you have this, you know, outlook. That you, well, you just say, well, the reason why we're armed during these protests to protect ourselves from tyrannical government. Well, let me tell you something. What happened in Odessa, Texas in the spring of 2020 during the COVID-19 lockdowns, telling you this story again. They were told to put down, put down their, their firearms by the cops. And what did they do? They put down their firearms. See, that's the thing right there. You know, people who call themselves rebels, they call themselves badasses, they call themselves patriots, mm -mm. that don't fly with me. I'll leave it up to the people who decide, who's going to decide if the cops is the standing army or this, uh, the ATF is the standing army. I'll just let you decide. Let you be the judge. The thing is, I follow George Washington's steps. His, I heed to his uh, teachings that political parties create, creates division. And here we are, so many years later, he was and still is right. He still is, he still is right. Now the question is, going back to the, well, going back to the whole Civil War thing. I never started the whole Civil War talk. It's the people from the right who did that, along with the Boogaloo Boys. You know, Boogaloo Boys like Mike Dunn who later found out, who I later found out to be a nothing but a, a fake. It is what it is. Don't get, get on me because I've been saying some stuff that you don't like or anybody likes. You know how many trolls who are liberals I have? Plenty. I despise Antifa. But does Antifa, BLM, or Blue Lives Matter affect me directly right now? Not at the moment. Now, back to Civil War. Are you willing to live out in a land like this? In cold weather, hot weather. Are you willing to live off the land like this? It's all talk until the talking stops. Seriously, it's all talk when the talking stops. Yes, I admit, I do talk shit. I do come off as a, as arrogant, as a hypocrite. Should I say things, you know, more nicely I'm inclined to agree with those people but my personality you know I tend to be abrasive I mean for some reason that's how I get the point across but when it comes down to it when the talking stops you have to live out here The first bullet has been fired. The first shot has been fired. Can, can, we can talk about the first shot at heard around the world at Fort Sumter, or uh, the first first shot heard around the world in the American Revolutionary War and all that. We can talk about all those things. You all can talk about Ruby Ridge, Waco, New Orleans. You can talk about that, but when it comes down to it. It's go time. It doesn't matter if you're skinny, chubby, fat, like really fat. It's go time. It's go time. I 
I don't know about you all. I like being outside, taking long walks. Makes me think. And those of you wondering, all my trolls, if you're wondering if I, if I side with Ukraine, no, I don't side with Ukraine. I don't support Ukraine. I sure as hell don't support Russia. And that leads me to another thing too. All this. What does the radiation from nuclear weapons like nuclear expo explosions do? All this. Mm, man. Irradi uh, irradiated air and everything from this law right here is going to be radioactive if nuclear war were to happen this tree right behind me is going to be radioactive the water is going to be re radioactive all that kind of stuff so all this fear-mongering bullshit that's all it is fear-mongering bullshit you want to prep you want to teach people how to survive out in the wilderness? By all means. I can do that. You know, I can learn those skills for free. Yeah. <clears throat> how to hunt and, uh, process all the meat from deer and all that kind of stuff I can learn all that for free so think about that the next time all right because it's all nothing but a bunch of hypocritical bullshit everybody says that it doesn't matter if you're a conservative or a liberal, everybody says that they're all about it, but they're really not. Mm -hmm. If you say you're all about your grid, you better be willing to back it up. You better be willing to back it up. Yes, sir, Rebob. Yes, sir. And then, of course, along the way, of course, I have my fair share of trolls. So after uh, December 2019, stopped going to these Pro 2A rallies because I found out that the politicians, they don't care. And of course, I was thrown underneath the bus by the so-called patriots because I believe the patriots should have a right to own fully automatic firearms without permits. I told them to stop begging the government permission to be armed, get, uh, begging the government government permission to conceal carry, to get a concealed carry permit. I've said that why should I fork over my hard-earned money to go through a concealed handgun, uh, uh, cancel, you know, concealed carry class, and pay extra money to literally ask the government permission to conceal carry? for a right I should already have. You know, there's people who are of the opinion, and I'm one of them, who believes that the Second Amendment is our permit. Yeah, that's what those patriots did. They threw me underneath the bus. You know, I had people say, well, you're nothing but a, a wannabe lone wolf. Well, being a I'm not a people person so I guess being a lone wolf is better than uh, nothing out at all but you know something along the way I actually have my own community I listen to guys like Freedom Inc NG Tech TI TLR Inc Apocalyptic Ben 3311 A American Tom Reed Let's see T Black T Rex 
There's many others. I listen to those guys. I have my own community. Like I said, I can uh, learn some survival skills on my own for free or have somebody else teach me for free. It all comes down to the almighty dollar. That's what they care about. So yeah, that's the story. Used to be one of those people who believes in that uh, going to pro 2A rallies and protesting, peaceably protesting is going to be the answer to everything. Guess what? It's not. And I believe that violence is not the answer either. But sometimes you got to put your foot down. Not every problem can be solved in peaceful measures, uh, situations. Just like not every problem can be solved with a bullet. So think about that before you misconstrued what I said before.